Oh, sleep well, love? No, I don't know why I bother going to bed. I really don't. Never mind. Lovely morning, isn't it? No. No, I suppose it isn't really. Oh, would you look at this post? It's all Bill's again. What, Bill next door? Yeah. That postman's always getting it wrong. I'll take it round for him later. Nothing for us, then. Well, I doubt it. Nothing ever happens in Arthur Square. Uh, don't I know it. Nothing ever has, nothing ever will. Oh, no. It's cold, it's dirty, it's miserable and it's boring. <sighs> yeah. Wouldn't change it for the world. Lovely. Oh, hang on. There is something for us. One each. Oh, I haven't got to open it, have I? You open yours. I'll open mine. That's fair. Oh, look. My envelope says, please open immediately. You may have won a million pounds. So is mine. Would you believe it, eh? <sighs> Hello. I'm looking for, um... Carp, blimey, it. Whistles and pears, apples and fruit. Would you add them and, um, eve it? <laughs> yeah, right. Look, um, I don't know if you can help me or not, but I'm looking for uh, Mr and Mrs Whinge. You wouldn't happen to know where I'm... Oh, or... not many, Governor. Up the elephant and down the castle, know what I mean. All along the old Kent frog and toad. Diamond geezer, don't put your daughter on the stage, Mrs Worthington. Yeah, right, not to worry, thanks. Uh, don't mind him, love. Now, what can I do you for? Oh, I've not seen you around these parts before. No, no, I used to live here. Or at least I think I did. Trouble is... You uh, was hit on the head in a bizarre accident and woke up in hospital not knowing who you was, how you got there, what your name is or anything. That's amazing. How do you know that? Same thing happened to me. Really? When? I can't remember. Huh. Now, the only thing I can remember is the name Winch. Been through all the winches in the phone book. These are the last ones. Albert and Arlene Winch, 23, Arthur Square. Albert and Arlene, yes, now you come to mention it, I think they did have a long-lost son. Really? But that can't be you. Why? He was deaf. Pardon? I say he was deaf and he had a Scots accent. Oh, well, you never lose that, do you? Or was it Welsh? Boy, oh. Oh, wait a minute, that's the Jackson's long lost son I'm thinking of. Or is it the Forsters? Oh, look, do you know how to get to Arthur Square? Oh, I'm getting all mixed up here. Now, the Forsters had a long lost daughter. It's the Wilkinson's long lost son I'm thinking of. Hmm. Oh, is it? Oh. Uh, 23, Arthur Square. Ah, dearie me, me old cock sparrow, now you're asking. Now, my old man said, follow the van and don't dilly-dally yeah, right, on... Not the... to worry, not to worry. I'll find my own way there. <sighs> well, would you look at that? What can you expect? I've only gone and won a million pounds. Yes, have I. <sighs> and they say lightning never strikes twice. Just imagine it, two million pounds. What are we going to do with it all? There's only one thing we can do. Hmm? Mm? We'll have to send it back. Why can't people leave things the way they are? Yeah, stop rocking the boat. Hang on. I'll tell you the problem with sending it back. What? We're only going to have to go and buy a stamp. <sighs> da 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 Ah, g'day, copper. Beautiful weather outside. Are you coming to the barbie? Uh, I think you're in the wrong place, mate. Yeah? Should I go next door? Uh, no, a bit further than that. Oh, the next street, then? <laughs> no, uh, Australia. This is Ramsey Street, isn't it? Uh, not exactly, Kingfisher, no. This is Arthur Square in good old London town. Oh, no worries. I'll just surf back. <laughs> uh, hey, 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 hold on, hold on. You're Australia's thousands and thousands of miles away. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you haven't seen me on a Force 5 Traker. Oh, no, look, look, you're going to need an aeroplane ticket. You got any moolah? Eh? Well, you know, spondulics, monkeys, bonies, blueies, you got me? Oh, uh, have I got any money? Oh, that is what I said. Look, you're going to need to get yourself a job, sunshine. Save a bit of cash up. Oh, God, blimey, look who's back. I don't believe it. Like a bad pen of years, he's got a nerve showing his face round here again. Who is it, mate? Just put on it. Here's your money back. I can't be bothered with it. Oh, get that, will you, Albert? All right. No, I can't be bothered. Suppose I will, then. You expecting someone? Don't be daft. Hello, Ma. It's Stephen, your long-lost son. Oh! Oh! It's my long-lost son, Stephen! Oh! oh you all right, then, Ma? Must be a bit of a shock for you, eh? <gasps> It's not us, Steve. It's just you don't half pong. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, Ma. I ain't had a chance to have a bath. You all right there, Pa? What are you after? Thought we'd seen the last of you. Yeah. I lost my memory in a bizarre accident. Things are coming back to me now. 
I'm back where I belong, in my home. <laughs> I know things didn't work out before, but I've turned over a new leaf. I'm a new man, honest, I'm clean. You are not. Get upstairs in that bath. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, Ma. But then uh, I seem to remember you were always right, weren't you, Ma? <laughs> Where's the bathroom again? Just through there. <laughs> I don't like it, Eileen, love. Once a bad egg, always a bad egg. Well, I don't know, Albert. He may have tricked us and been a complete villain for 23 years, but I'm prepared to give him another chance. Well... You know, I never thought I'd hear a knock at that door and get up and hear someone say, Hello, Ma, it's me, Stephen, your long-lost son. Hello, Ma. It's me, Stephen, your long-lost son. I don't believe it. There's two of you. Eh? I think you must need glasses, Ma. There's only me. No, I mean another Steve's just come in. He's in the bath. Huh? Well, he must be an imposter. I'm your real son. Just look at me. Well, you might look like Steve, but so does the other Steve. How are we going to tell? There's only one way to tell a proper whinge. What? You mean? Yeah. Can you hear me, Steve? Of course I can, Pa. I'm just here. No, not you. I mean the other Steve. Steve, can you hear me? Loud and clear, Pa. You fancy a cup of tea, love? Can't say as I'm bothered, Ma. Yes, my boy. Hang on. You've got to ask him now. Fancy a cup of tea? Well, uh, I ain't bothered either way, Ma. All right, then. What do you reckon of the weather, then? Awful, innit, Ma? All it ever does is rain, rain, rain. Still, looks like it might brighten up later. No chance of that, Ma. Oh, I don't know. Every cloud's got a silver lining, eh? What? Ah, get out! No winds would say a thing like that. You're no son of mine! Oh, rats, on the edge, just then. Come on, and don't you ever darken half a square again. What was all that about? My oh, son! <laughs> I thought I heard another voice. It was just some awful con man. Not like you, my darling. Yeah, that's right, Ma. You ain't getting any trouble off me. I'm a changed man. So what you're saying is, I need money to get back to Australia. What I am saying is, my old cocker spaniel, you need money to get back to Australia. Ah, oh, jeez, I never realised. Lots of money. Yeah, but I haven't got a penny, mate. Oh, well, maybe you should sell something, mate. What about that surfboard of yours? That must be worth a few, Bob. What? Sell me surfing? You've got to be one burger short of a Barbie, mate. All right, all right, all right, all right. What about your boomerang? Ah, oh, no, it's no good, mate. I tried selling that a few times, I couldn't get rid of it. What? Every time you tried, it kept coming back, eh? <laughs> kept coming back. <laughs> no, mate. It's just no one wanted to buy it. Oh. I tell you what, then, sunshine. You need to get yourself a job. Oh, yeah, I know, mate. But I tried looking everywhere. There's nothing going. Oh, I'm never going to get back at this rate. Yeah, well, we've all got problems, sunshine. You need to find yourself a job. And I've got to find someone to work in a shop. Can't find anyone. It ain't easy for any of us, mate. Ah. Hang on. If you want to give someone a job, yeah. and I'm looking for a job... Yeah, then, then why don't we, <laughs> you and me... Uh, no, it's gone. I thought we had something for a minute then. Ah, well. Yeah, Bill, Fred's coming over in a mail. You got the time? Ah, oh, lovely jubbly apples. And poor Governor, do not put your daughter underneath the arches, me darling. <gasps> Is he really? Oh, go up, I can move on. You know, Bill, I'm sure you're doing something wrong there. Uh, butcher's hook, Bill China. If you say so, Bill. You got my sheets yet, Trinkle? Oh, just come in, Fred. Oh, beautiful. Here, Mavis, you'll never guess who's back on the square. Steve. That's right. Oh, you must have seen it. The old tea leaves, right? No, I saw him over by the spin dryer yesterday. Oh, I tell you, Mavis, he's trouble. Make no mistake. I will not rest until I have seen the back of him. He seems quite nice to me. Hey, 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 hey. hold on, darling, hold on, hold on. Nice. Steve Winch, I tell you, he is the most evil, sly, work shy little toe rag ever a slithery, smarmy little way around half a square. Yes, I know, but he's got lovely clean fingernails. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> speak of the angel more like Mavis if you're speaking about me. All right, Fred. I do not believe I'm hearing this. You? Ask me if I'm all right after what you've done to me. Did to me, Fred. <laughs> Should be what you did to me. I do not care if it's dead. Done, didn't or diddly do, mighty boy. You owe me an apology. Ah, come on, Fred, it weren't that bad. <laughs> oh, wasn't it? Oh, and you know what it feels like, do you? You know what it's like to work all day at your own business. A business you've spent years building up. And then to come home from building that dream. And then think, oh no, I'll have a nice little rest and a cup of tea. And then find that someone, someone, has taken your last roll off. And he ran off with the last savings of everyone in the square. Oh, oh yeah. Well, never mind about that. Fred Renner never forgives or forgets. I want you out of this square, young man. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know anything about that. 
I lost my memory in a bizarre accident. All I know is I'm back where I belong. Oh, yeah, we will soon see about that. Never mind him, Stevie. He'll get used to you, you'll see. Oh, I ain't worried about Ranta Mavis. By all accounts, he's nothing but an old crook. Fred's never a crook, is he? Ah, oh, I think you'll find he is. Oh. Oh, no! What is it? Oh, those cheques! The cheques for two million pounds? <gasps> They've gone! Someone's stolen them! Oh, look! The thief's left a note. What's it say? I expect you're wondering who stole the money. Hey, 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 you'll never catch me. But here's a clue. I own a shop and my name rhymes with bed. Owns a shop and name rhymes with bed? Who can it be? Bed? Bed? Jed? Ned? I know, of course it's Ted. I thought there was something funny about the way he always locks himself away. Yeah. And stares at himself in the mirror all day. Yeah. And rings that little bell whenever he's bored. Yeah. Hang on, Ted's budgy. Budgy smudgy, search his cage. Oh, but dear, I don't think there's much point. <sighs> there's no point in anything, really, is there? No. But about that note, Ted can't hold a pen. He couldn't have written that note. Yeah. I wonder who it can be. Owns a shop and rhymes with bed. I'll go and ask Fred in the shop. He's clever with words. Good idea. Fred! Oh, I'd love a job, but they're like gold dust around here. Oh, I well, know, Pickle. It's just as hard for me trying to find someone to come and work in a shop. It's not as if I'm looking for anyone with experience, either. Yeah, and I've got three years' experience of shop work and I still can't find a job. Awful, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Hang on. Well, why don't you give me the job? Hey, 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 hold on, Brad. If only it were that simple, son. Well, it is, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose it is. Do you want a job? <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> right, come round here, then. I'll show you the ropes. Yeah. Right. This one's a pound, and this one's two pound fifty. Oh, right. Isn't it great when people are nice to each other? <laughs> That's why I want to get back to Ramsey Street. Everyone's so nice compared to here. Oh, no, 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 Puffy. People around here are just as nice. they just got a different way of showing it, that's all. <laughs> Fred, you're a dirty, cheating thief. I'll have your guts for gutters. Gutters! Yeah, you're right. That is a different way of showing it. Oh, yeah, 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 hey. yeah. Hold your horses, Albert. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. You've nicked our money, haven't you? Haven't you? Of course I haven't. Anyway, I thought you said you was going to send it back, like. We was. What? But if there's one thing... Yeah. Shut up, Arlene. If there's one Arlene. thing... Arlene! If it, as I was saying, if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's thieving. Emblemange. Yes, emblemange, but I ain't thieving even more. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Albert, my son. I can prove it was not me. Well, it better be good. Well, there's no point in me stealing checks made out of a whinge, is there, like? You sure? Well, only someone with a name whinge could cash those checks, couldn't they? He's right, Albert. Whinge? You have to be no call Whinge. Well, don't you go and ask Steve. See if he can think of anyone. Steve? That's a good idea. Yeah. Steve! No, he wouldn't do a thing like that. Not my Stevie. Why'd you say that, Mrs W? He's family! Family? Yes, family! I oh, know he's been bad before, but that's all changed. He's the best son in the world now. He wouldn't do nothing wrong to nobody round here. You see, Mavis, see, um, the thing about money is it's such an easy thing to lose. Look, you think you've got a firm hold of it, and then all of a sudden, whoops, just falls out of your hand. See what I mean? I suppose so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, coins are even worse. I mean, they roll. What do you think I should do? Well, the best thing would be if you could uh, find someone to look after your money for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone local, someone young, someone called Steve, maybe. Oh, you're ever so kind. Now, do you think I should give you some of my money, most of my money, or all of my money? Oh, all of your money would be best, yeah? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go, Mavis. Happy birthday. Steve Winge, you've been trying to set me up. Huh? Not me, Ratner. I'm whiter than Mavis is white since I lost my memory in that bizarre accident. <laughs> I can't even remember how to be bad. Oh, yeah. You made it look like it was me that stole that two million pound off your parents. It was you, though, wasn't it, eh? Eh? Steal? Me? Steal? I don't even know the meaning of the word. I do. It's what Gerd is made of. <laughs> anyway, can't have been me. I was at the park all day. Oh, really? Who with then? It was Steve Winch. You can ask him if you like. Yeah. Is this true, Steve? Yeah. Oh, blast. <laughs> Told you, didn't I? <laughs> you think you're dead clever, don't you, Stevie Winch, eh? 
But one of these days, I'm gonna catch you right ahead. Come on, Albert. Why are you working here? Oh, Brad. Uh, I need to raise money to get back to Australia. So, Mrs. W, you fancy contributing to the Send Brad Home Fund? Suppose so. Don't know why you want to go there. I couldn't stand it in Australia. Oh, I don't know, Mrs. W. It's hot, it's friendly, the people are happy, and no one ever moans. Like I say, I couldn't stand it in Australia. <laughs> well, Albert, it looks like your Steve's in the clear for now. I told you it couldn't have been him. My Steve is an angel. He wants nothing but good for this square. Hello. Is that buildings and bulldozers? Ah, good. I might just have a little job for you. I want you to demolish a crummy old East End community. I'm going to build Yuppie World. Nothing but luxury flats, flash cars, snobby shops. How much? <laughs> Two million quid. That's just a figure I was going to suggest. Oh, well, uh, you want to know where, won't you? The name. <laughs> Arthur Square. Not at all. My pleasure, mate. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Hello, my little darling. Are you? <laughs> all right, ma. Just trying to make myself a cup of tea. Trouble is, what with my memory loss, can't remember how to do it. <laughs> you sit yourself down, Stevie. I'll do it for you. Ah, thanks, ma. You a diamond. It's <laughs> a lot. Do you got Stevie? Yeah, how'd you pay for that, Stevie? I suppose oh. you can't remember. Ah, well, uh, I got it from... Uh... I know where you got it from. Why don't you admit it? Well, I, I got the money by... Go it. on, wriggle your way out of that if you can. You're nothing but a... Oh, but let the boy speak, for goodness sake. Honestly, now, Stevie, here's your tea. Ah, thanks, Ma. <laughs> now, Stevie, tell him where you got the money from. Well, as I was trying to say, I got the money by nicking two million quid off you two. Eh? So you admit it. Oh, how could you do this to us, Stevie? Because <laughs> I'm an out and out villain, Ma, and there's no way you're going to stop me now. <laughs> I never really lost my memory. It was just a way of getting back into the square. But now I'm here, I'm going to knock down the old square and build Yuppie World on top. <laughs> Over my dead body. <laughs> That's a good idea, Pa. Yuppie? This is so fish, innit? Um, uh, look, I've got big plans for this place. I'll show you. Now, you listen to me. You know how big your plans are, matey boy? This square stayed as it is. A grey, miserable place for whinges. Your granddad was a whinge. My granddad was a whinge. Our great granddad was one of the biggest whinges ever. There's been whinges on this square ever since Ephra the Whinge first set foot here in 1276 and said, Oh, well, I don't know. It'll do, I suppose. Yeah, well, it's all changed now, Pa. <laughs> People around here won't let you do it, Steve. They won't let their houses be pulled down for something like this. <laughs> oh, yes, they will, Pa. <laughs> Just as soon as I offer them lots of money to sell up and move out. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Yeah, Pa. In fact, uh, why don't you have a word with Mavis about that? <laughs> I think you'll find she's got something to say. <laughs> oh, Steve, what have you done? <laughs> you got my sheets, Treacle. Oh. <sighs> yeah, they've shrank a bit, I'm afraid, Fred. <laughs> oh, don't worry, babe. That was a bit too big anyway. They've shrunk quite a lot, actually. <gasps> oh, no, Mavis, they're my handkerchiefs. <laughs> Fred, not Fred. These are your handkerchiefs. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, I'm not annoyed. We're all one big family, aren't we, eh? Mavis, Mavis, what has Steve done to you? Steve, nothing. Oh, thank the Lord for that. Unless you mean that he wants me to sell the laundrette and move out of the square forever. He what? He offered me ever such a lot of money, 40 pounds. I thought, oh, I could buy a lovely new pair of orthopedic sandals for that and still have enough left over for a new pair of knitting needles. Oh, you didn't sign over the laundrette for that, did you? For 40 pounds? He must be joking. Far more important things than money. You're so right, Mavis. Like the square. And the community. Family. No, like magic beans. <laughs> what is it? Well, sorry, Mavis. I thought you just said you'd sold Dread Steve magic beans. I did. But you only get magic beans in fairy stores. There's no such thing, really. Oh, yes, there is. Look. Oh, Mavis, babe. I'm afraid you've been conferences. They're not magic beans. Oh, yes, they are. And even better, they're low in fat and high in fibre. Oh, Mavis, what have you done? Oh, oh hello, Mrs. W. Huh. I don't want to be a sticky big, but you look like a wallaby with his head stuck in the dunny. Oh, it's that son of mine. He's causing trouble again, and no mistake. He's stolen our money, and I think he's bribed Mavis to leave a square. What can you do against him when he's got so much money? Ah, uh, I don't know, Mrs. W. Hang on. What? You could always go surfing. 
Thanks, Brad, but I'm not sure it'd do any good. Besides, there's nowhere to surf in Arthur Square. Ah, uh, yeah, too true, Mrs W. I'd forgotten. That's why I want to get back home. What can we do? Uh, hang on. There's always this. Oh, no, that's not quite what I meant. Um, Thanks, Brad. Every little helps. Now, what were you saying? Oh, it uh, doesn't... There he is! There's Steve Nash! Matter. <laughs> All right, Ma, there's no need for that. Oh... That's why you brought me over here, is it? Oh, I'm glad you're here, Gherkin. I can tell you face to face. Your plans won't work. You can't change the square. Now, don't be too sure about that, Mr. Ranter. Oh, you may have got the long dress, floss, but you've got to get the rest of us out first, and we in magic. Oh, yeah. As soon as I've knocked down the laundrette, I'm going to build Steve Towers right here. Once he's fully up, he's... I can't see you lot wanting to stay. Uh, hello. You must be a Cockney. We're from Berkshire, actually. <laughs> Hold on. What's that? Oh, yeah. Ain't that a lovely sound? It's my bulldozers waiting to raise this place to the ground. Stop it! You never do it. You just watch me. Stop it. This is far more important. Look what I've just found. Now, who owns these? Oh, no! No! They're horrible! You really ain't mine. Well, don't look at me. I've still got my self-respect. I won't wear anything like that. Oh, <gasps> that means... <laughs> Look, you all think I'm evil, don't you? Yes. And that I'm nasty and twisted enough to knock down a square and chuck you all out of your rooms? Yes. But do you seriously think that even I would wear a pair of wire fronts so horribly revoltingly horrible? He's right, you know. Yeah, I suppose so. But you've still got to belong to somebody. But somebody in the square. There hasn't been a stranger here since February. February the 17th. 1971. Hang on. What? It's Brad. No, it wouldn't be Brad. Aye, 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 aye. Hold on a minute, sunshine. Brad may be a daft boy, Nuzzy. But he's a clean daft boy, Nuzzy. I'm going to look into this. Oh, I wouldn't do that, maybe. She'll pass out. No, I mean, do some investigating like that Sherlock Holmes in his pipe. Why has he lost it? <laughs> oh, shut up, Albert. Yeah, well, I don't know about you, lot, but I can't stand around here gossiping all day. Can't you? I can. No, I've got squares to demolish, people to evict. Oh, yeah. A demolition people want to know how flat I want this laundrette. Quite flat, very flat, or extremely flat. Extremely flat, I think. <laughs> you do what you have to do. Oh, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Maybe she'll pop oh, shut up. up. Look, look, look. We're going to have to have a meeting about this. See if we can come up with a way of stopping him. Let's all meet at the shop in five minutes. Why can't we just talk about it now, in here? Because we've been in here since the start of the episode and I'm getting a bit sick of it. Fair enough. That Steve must have some feelings. Yeah, I'm sure that if we all put it together, yeah. we can find a way of getting through to his heart. Hmm. I think I know something he cares about that might just be the key to stopping his evil plans. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. But the financial markets are shaky worldwide. We have to make sure that we invest in a secure network of business deals. What's that, Mr Bunny? Yeah, 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 we'll invest in carrots as well. Yeah, but we have to make sure that the Arthur Square redevelopment is the first step towards an overall global investment structure. I think you'll agree with me there. <laughs> yeah, good. I knew you'd agree with me, Mr Bunny. So, what you're saying is, I must go ahead and destroy Arthur Square. <laughs> yeah. By the end of today, there won't be anything left of it. <laughs> Always a pleasure doing business with you, Mr Bunny. <laughs> right. Now, what we've got to do is all of us pull together and see if between us we... Mavis, what are you doing, sweetheart? Mm, looking for clues. Oh, yeah. Well, you won't find any down there. Don't you think it's time you stop doing bad Sherlock Holmes impersonations and help us a bit? No. I like looking for clues. I go back to Lord Rick to examine those pants again. <sighs> right. Now, as I was just saying, what we need to do is all pull together and think what each of us can do to stop Steve. Yeah, right. I could go on a sponsored surf. And I could sell some veg from my allotment. Brilliant. Steve won't stand a chance. Hold on. What's this? It can't be. It is. There's a label. E.W. Whose initials are they? Let's check the oldie history of Arthur Square. Oh, <laughs> that washing powder gets everywhere. Oh, yes, aha. Uh -huh. It's definitely a book. Right, E.W., E.W. Oh, of course, Andy Wise. Andy Wise has never been to Arthur Square. Oh. 
I could write a Stop Steve song on my banjo. Yeah, and I could do a sponsored whinge. Yeah, and I could wear a pair of socks with Steve is naughty on them. Steve! Oh, you're back, are you, Ma? They sent you over to plead with me, I suppose. No, Steve, it's time for you to plead with me. Hey, <gasps> Mr Bunny, what are you doing with him? You've been bad before, but never anything like this. I've decided that enough is enough. I'm going to stop you no matter what it takes. If you don't back down, I'm going to pull him in a little pieces. Ah, so what you're saying is there's a choice between my evil plans and Mr Bunny? Yes. In that case, you better start with his leg. It's loose anyway. What? <laughs> you're so bad, you care more about destroying the square than you do about Mr Bunny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why I bothered. I could sit in a tree and refuse to come down. Yeah, I could sit in the toilet and refuse to come out. Brilliant. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. What? All our planes are rubbish. No, they're not, mate. Ah, oh, yeah, they are. Oh, we are doomed. Steve's gonna destroy the square. Don't know why we bothered trying to stop him. <sighs> hold on. This is it. E.W. Ethel with the wind, blah, blah, blah. 1247, blah, blah, blah. Underwear. <gasps> That's it. I don't believe it. This is incredible. It's amazing. Right, when well, we've tried everything, it looked half a square is doomed. Oh, don't give up so easily, Fred. I think I might have discovered the answer to our problems. It's all here in this book. Yeah, what, 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 what's it say? Well, apparently... <laughs> what was that, Mavis? I said apparently. Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry about that. Makes me feel busy when there's no customers, see? I have a spy. Just tell us what it says in the book. I can feel a rant coming on if you don't. Oh, it's about these undies. They're initialed EW. The book says those are the initials of Ethel with the Wind you found at Arthur Square hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So? So, so, it says in the book, whoever owns these undies is the direct descendant of Ethelred. He shall be able to help us fight Steve. Oh! But we don't know who that is. I'm just coming to that bit. These very undies are the legendary battle pants of Ethelred the Wind. He used to wear them on his head in battle to strike mortal fear into the hearts of his enemies. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. And, according to this book, ye shall know it, the true descendant of Ethelred, for he can put these pants on his head without going, ay uh, uh, uh. oh, 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 What was that last bit, Queen? Uh, uh. Yeah, well, I've never said in my life, and I'm not about to start now. Give us some air. Let's have a go, eh? Oh, give him air. It can't be that bad, honestly. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Hang on. You said dearie, dearie me, not... Oh, yes, it might be me. Oh, no, there's a little asterisk here. What says dearie, dearie me? Don't care. Either. Ah, you found me Andy's Bonza. <gasps> Yours? Put them on your head, Brad. Ah, anything you say, Mrs W. Mmm, lovely. Oh, oh. it oh. is he. Oh. The true descendant of Ethelred the Wind. Henceforth you shall be known as Lord Brad, Earl of Windshire. Ah, there you all are. You've got an hour to get out or this place comes down whether you're in it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear me? An hour! I must get that clock fixed. It's far too fast. Right. That gives us exactly one hour to think of a way of stopping him. What about the ancient banishing spell? Using traditional cockney items, the true earl can concoct a spell to banish any undesirable person from his kingdom. Beautiful. What do we need? Let's see. For the spell of banishment, you need seven items. Apples and pears, whistles and flute, frog and toad and... Oh! There's a page missing. That's only six things. Oh. That's it, then. No one knows what comes next. The spell won't work without the full ingredients. Oh. Apples and pears, whistle and fruit, frog and toad, huh? Meal china. That's it. Bill's old china. Oh. His family have been in the square for years. The spell must have been passed down from father to son for years and years and years. Right, that's it, then. I'm off to Bill's house. I'll see you out at the winges. Hmm, who'd have thought it, eh? Bill's old china. I jolly well hope they're right. It was all coincidence, really, you see. I was just talking all my old usual nonsense. Roy, Bill's old china. Now, apples. Lovely. Pears. Whistle. Beautiful. And a flute. A frog. Yeah, and finally, a toad. 
Aye, 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 hang on, Mo, hang on, Mo. That ain't a toad. That's just another frog. Sorry, Fred, I couldn't remember what the difference was. I'll just grab what I could. All oh, right, well, we'll have to do this no time. Right, Winge is over there, ranter over here. Oh! <clears throat> OK, let's hope this works as our only chance. So, fingers crossed. Oh, no, sorry, arms and legs crossed. All right. OK, get out now, we'll get squashed. Ha! They've all run. Right, engine's on! All right, here we go. Pray now for the spell of banishment. All are gathered here, myself, Lord Brad, Earl of Winge, the Winges, and Renta. Aye, 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 aye. On pronouncement of the magic word, I hereby banish Steve Winge from the square forever. And the magic word is... Family! Ready? Steady! Matt! Matt! Well, I said that other frog was a mistake. It doesn't matter. Those workmen might listen to a man who sounds like a sheep, and neither will anyone else. We've won. Yeah. Go on, yes. get it. Yes. Well, don't come back. Yes. 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 Sheep. Hey. I assist. Looks like I'm Mr. Fun again. Never mind. I've just come to pick up my washing. Got to get up the West End, sort Danny out. I bet he's not even up yet. You never know. He might be striking a big deal with a big star. Danny, I doubt it. Why is Brad wearing a pair of pants on his head? Ooh, tell me later. <laughs> well, I've seen him out of the square. I don't think he'll be back. Oh, well done, Brad. Yeah, nice one, my old son. Yeah. Look, uh, I know you're whinges, but couldn't you try smiling just for once? It doesn't hurt, you know. Well, I suppose not. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, right. Maybe you should just try slightly grinning for now, yeah? <laughs> right, leave a smile if you've had a bit of practice, eh? <laughs> But what about you, Brad? Yes, I mean, you've made the square safe for us, but how are you going to get home now? Home? Huh. Listen, I want to tell you all something. Gather round. <laughs> From now on, this is my home. Oh. For the residents of Arthur Square, the crisis is over. They are free to live in peace and harmony. But for others, the drama goes on. Jess says she works for Danny, but who is he? Has he got out of bed? And will he be talking to a big star? He might be, because Danny is the star man. Find out more next week. <laughs> <laughs>